Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool subject for today? Our cool subject for today is selling and giving up. Don't give up. <laughs> selling and, and giving up. Don't give up. What does that mean? You know, I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity. You know, I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the warts and all, and everything in between. And one of the things I've seen in my career is that companies, they come and they go. Um, and it really sucks because I thought when I first started with, in selling that I'd be retiring with quite a few different companies. But unfortunately, big companies, they go out of business too. And it could be a lot of reasons, financial things. It could be uh, not taking care of the customer, customer service. It could be a mirror of different things. And, and companies that were in business for 40, 50, 100 years that, that I work for that are no longer here. But I'm still here. I'm still selling. And so our whole topic for today is, like I said, it's selling and giving up. Don't quit. See, a lot of times when you first get into sales, you don't know a lot and you get a little fearful, false evidence appearing real. And that evidence is false because, see, if you stick and stay in the field of sales, it's just like a trade. Um, what I mean by that is you've got levels of knowledge that you need to learn. You know, I've got like literally hundreds and hundreds of sales videos on my platform under your real estate sales guy or Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And I've got a comedy one, you know, under uh, Gary Lee Stanley comedy. And it's just, I got a bunch of different uh, ones and some for real estate. I also do pest control services and I talk about all kinds of stuff. So, but what I'm talking about here is when you first get into sales, you really don't know that, hey, if it, you're going to be good at it. And when you start getting into it, if you get a good foundation, that means your company is giving you some basic instructions, teaching you the fundamentals about your product and telling and teaching you how to talk to people. If you're lucky, they'll teach you how to close, ask good questions, how to build a script, how to call people on phone and in person. See if you're lucky. Now, most of the time, it takes time to know that you need to learn all this stuff. And they don't teach you all that stuff. And it kind of sucks because when you get into sales, um, they, they need bodies. They need people to go out there and say, hey, did you want to go ahead and get that? Okay, and see, a lot of times when you're a brand new salesperson, you don't even know how to have a selling conversation. You don't know how to talk to people. And what happens is is uh, you get kind of confused. You get kind of lost. And some people, they could be really, really good salespeople like you. They give up before the miracle. And it's so sad. You know, I've worked in sales since the 80s in one form of capacity. And my first job was a door-to-door -door sales representative. And I'm not going to say it wasn't hard. It wasn't that bad. It was kind of cool. You know, I worked some really cool hours and you know I made really really good money and so forth um, but see I, I, I didn't give up and the company I worked for, I worked for them for like three years. And then I moved to another city uh, from Tampa to Jacksonville. And I had to get into other sales because I had a foundation and I love to make money. I worked on commission because, see, more the risk, more the pay. And commission pays that way. So if you're trying to figure out, well, what do I want to sell, just get your feet wet somewhere. Okay, guys? Because, see, you may not find your niche market when you first start. And the reason why I say that is is that's not where I stayed. I saw the writing on the wall. I got as much information as I could. I was doing, I was at the number one in the game and you can be the same way. But remember, we're never locked into a job or an opportunity. Companies go out of business and we evolve. But see, once you learn how to be a salesperson, you learn how to have a selling conversation. You learn how to listen. Did you hear me? Listen to your customers who will walk you through the process of selling them, helping them buy stuff. Nobody likes to be sold. They like to buy stuff. So what I'm sharing with you is when you're trying to sell stuff, it's kind of rough at first, but don't quit. What was our topic, guys? It was selling. Don't give up. Okay, don't quit. 
even if it's tough, there may be an opportunity that you don't know about yet. But see, what you do is you take nuggets from each sales job or each career, each job that you have, and it levels itself on a foundation. And so what happens is, is you take from this job the knowledge that you got, and hopefully you did get some knowledge. Hopefully you had some good mentors who taught you how to sell and not manipulate and take advantage of people, but how to ask good questions, how to talk to people, how to close, how to deal with rejection. And I hope you have that. And especially if you're first starting in sales. Remember, I, when I first got in sales years and years ago, I was I had three jobs and I was working them and I was like, man, I can't. I just, this, just this business, this digging ditches and doing electrical, working in the kitchen and, and cleaning yards and stuff. I was making money, but I wasn't surviving. And then I got the opportunity to get a sales job. We ain't digging ditches, guys. We're talking to people about ideas. We're putting our hands on some things where we can show stuff. And some people are showing and doing ideas like marketing and insurance and things like this. So remember, it's not a hard job. It just can be psychologically hard because when you first start, you're working on your wits. You don't know a lot. So like I said, hopefully your company will give you some basic instructions and some information. But you need to look outside the box. And what I mean by that is you need to go ahead and get online. I've got literally, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of videos. So give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and please subscribe, okay guys? And tell people about Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. And see, what will happen is, is once you learn that, you need to go and seek outside training. Like with Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Tom Hopkins, Bedford. And there's a whole lot of other people who can put some quality information into your brain and teach you the fundamentals. It's not complicated, but as salespeople, we can sometimes complicate things the easiest things and see here's the thing guys you got to do you got to get help sometimes sometimes you get frustrated you get mad you get sad and then you say things you hurt stuff and then you give up don't quit what I'm saying is if this particular sales job that you have is not the one okay go, try another job but take the information that you learned from the first one and use it. Not uh, not the negative stuff, but the positive stuff. So that way you can sell stuff. You can make more money. And just remember, guys, it's not easy being a salesperson. We have ups and downs, good days, bad days. We got laws in the economy. We got uh, peaks and valleys. And we go through a mirror of a lot of different feelings. I've been there. I've done that. You know, I sell quite a few different products. People say, well, why do you sell multiple products? Well, I sell real estate, first off. And I also work for a pest control company that deals with WDOs. And I help people with termite services and so forth. And I sell insurance. I sell... the just warranties, service agreements, maintenance agreements. I sell a lot of stuff. So what happens is, is once you become a good salesperson, you can get a niche market and work on that market until you can't work it no more, like I've done in the past. But now I've diversified. I've got myself doing two or three different jobs, but I'm able to pull from those incomes and be able to make more money. Some people, they get a chance to work with a really big company. They can make money right off the bat. But with me, with real estate and WDOs, helping people with that type of thing, it gives me a chance to do multiple things. Plus, I'm out in the field. I get to talk to people about real estate. And I get to do this stuff because I've been trained. I didn't give up on the, the selling. There were times, like I said, I've worked with different companies, and it was really rough. I, I'm, I was, I'm a single dad. Okay, I raised my son by myself. He's 18 now. So now I can look outside the box and see a lot of different opportunities and not be pigeonholed into just one type of a job or a career. Now, if you're a salesperson and if you're looking to get it or a person who wants to get in this field, you got to give yourself a break. You want to give yourself at least six months to a year to learn the basics and the fundamentals about your product. You have to go knock on those doors. You got to pick up that heavy phone and you can't be afraid. Fear, false evidence appearing real that can take you off your game. Again, if it's not working where you're at, remember there are other companies who are looking to hire you. Now, if you work for a decent company and you're having issues because you're not able to close stuff, go talk to your management. Talk to these people and ask them for help. Say, look, I, I want to do good. And they spent a lot of money on you just to get you trained, guys. I'm going to tell you what. They spent a lot of time, a lot of effort. So it behooves you to go talk with your management. And don't be afraid. Like I said, guys, it's rough sometimes when you're not doing good and you feel like, you know, because people are talking about you, believe it or not, behind your back. It, it, it may be they're not. 
maybe they're saying, I wonder what's wrong. But he doesn't say, he doesn't ask or she doesn't ask for help. What are you doing to get help? Go talk to your management. Say, look, I need some help. You know, I'm trying. I'm struggling. Can you give me some insight? Let me show you what I'm doing. And ask for scripts. Talk to people who've, who are closers, who are doing really, really good. And then you ask them for help. And these people will be more able to make sure that you don't fall through the cracks at your company. Now, for me, like I said, I only had so much time, you know, over the years to be able to try different sales jobs because I had a kid, spent a lot of money on leads and things like this. And, 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 but I didn't quit. I didn't quit. I kept looking to see if there was other opportunities and other options in selling that I could mirror together and be able to bring together. It's like what I'm doing now. I got three different jobs. I'm making money in this one, this one, this one, this one, and they're all building on each other. I also deal with pools, motors, services. I sell with electron. I, I do it all. And I want to be like that. Somebody asked me today, well, when, do you, when are you going to retire? I don't want to retire because I get to make money. It's not hard. All you have to do is have a selling conversation. So when you feel like giving up, guys, don't. Don't quit. You know, go back and watch some of my videos. Go watch some motivational videos that can talk to you. Because we get frustrated. We get really desperate sometimes. We don't want to get dragon's breath or snake's breath. <sighs> you know, because it's just, it happens when we're desperate. And customers can see it when we're desperate. So you want to be able to be... It, 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 some people, they need to have things that are negative going on where they owe money and so forth and such. But I'm going to tell you the truth, guys. If, if, if you live within your means, you're never feeling like, man, I really got to go to work. I got to sell something. I feel crazy. I'm going to lose my mind and so forth. So you don't want to be that person. So what the person you do want to be is somebody who's competent because people love to buy from competent people. They love to buy from smart people. They love to buy from people who can take charge and show them not necessarily because people want to buy stuff right but they want to buy from people who know what they're doing and sound competent and see if you're over there with dragon's breath or snook's breath or, or man i need to desperate. for you got to help me but you got to buy this today or i'm going to start they ain't gonna do it they don't want to buy nothing so you got to give yourself a break guys what I do is I'm watching motivational materials every day. I'm talking to God because that's what I do. I talk to God all the time because I need his help. Because sometimes I get a little stressed. I get a little frustrated. Remember, this platform is for real salespeople. I am a real salesperson. I am in the field every day doing your job. Okay, guys? So I know what you're feeling. I know what you're going through. And sometimes this little thing up here can get overwhelmed. So you need to find some people you can share your feelings with. Okay, don't take it home and hurt your family, your kids, your dogs, your wife, significant other. Get that stuff out. Remember, tomorrow is another day. God is so awesome. When it sucks, it's, we have good days, bad days, and some days we want to stay in that bed. But I'm going to tell you what, we get us a nice, good night's sleep, and we can start again. I didn't say it was easy. Sometimes you'll have weeks and months. And it'll be a struggle. And then you'll be like, king of the hill. Man, I can't stop selling. I got so many people calling me and blah, blah. That's why you got to talk to as many different people. Tell so many people. Get on Facebook and get on these Instagram and tell your friends and family, people in your sphere of influence, what you do. Tell them, hey, I sell this particular product. If you know anybody who might need this product, can you make sure you let them know that I this is what I do? And see, by letting people know what you do, also you're marketing yourself. And everywhere I go, people say, "Are you? Do you tell everybody you're a salesman?" Heck yeah, man! I, I introduce myself. I'm Gary Lee, and I'm a happy person. You see, I wear smiley face pants. I do it for a reason because people got so much drudgery in their lives. But see, my whole goal today is to help walk you through this process. That hey, listen, selling and giving up, don't quit. Even if you don't stay with the company that you're with as far as a career, there are other people that can use your talents. A lot of companies, it's hard to find people who are closers. It's hard to find people who will work on commission. Because sometimes people, they got to have their little bit of paycheck. They got to know how much money's coming there every month. And that's okay. That's all right. Because some companies that you work for in real estate, or should I say in real estate, they don't give you nothing until you sell something. But some companies will give you a little bit of money to keep you going. A gas allowance, a van. Oh, look what I got. Okay, they'll give you the opportunity to have something so you can get out there and feel comfortable and sell something. 
You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. Please give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and please subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video because, listen, guys, stuff happens. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. And listen, it's going to be okay. Don't quit before the miracle. And remember, because you have been trained and you know how to talk to people, you are different than most people. That means you know how to have a conversation and ask for the order. So do me a favor. Go out there and ask for the order. But if you ain't, you ain't selling. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, you're important and we matter. We make the world go around. So just because one job doesn't work out or one place that you work out or one product doesn't work out, doesn't mean you have to quit selling. So go out there and sell some. And if you're not liking where you're at, <laughs> go look for another job. But it's easier to look for another job when you got a job. And I'm going to tell you what, people would love to have a happy salesperson who's wanting to make money. And that's you and that's me. So go out there and sell something and have a wonderful day. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy selling and giving up. Don't quit, okay? All right.